and Laudia, Photoshop magicians. How's life? Fred here. Today we're going to create this amazing poster. Just look at this. Wow. Look at this beautiful gradient colors. Look at these points on the colors. Look at all the details. In case you're wondering what is this type of poster called, it's actually called Balgasm and it was invented by this guy Wesian Katra. At least I think it was invented by him. I think he was the first one to start doing posters with this type of very cool colors. And as you can see, it very often involves different shapes, different colors, and uh, so on. So all of this look very beautiful. Originally when it started, the posters were looking like this. So we're going to create its original version. And before we start, I have big announcements that will benefit you a lot. Free classes. Yes. I added a free trial to all of the classes that are available on my website learnfromfred.com which means that you can just go to the website, enroll and you will get a 14 day trial. If you want to create something like this, there is a class for this on the website. If you want to create something like this, there is also a class for this on the website. Or maybe you want to create this fantasy style artwork and learn how to create 3D lines with heads and create this artwork or even this artwork. This and many more projects are available on the website. You can go right now, enroll with a 14 day trial and access all of them. Wow. With that said, let's get started. So let's go to file and new. And I want to make sure I have width 1000, height 1 to 50, resolution 300, color mode RGB color, make sure artboards is not selected. And let's just click uh, create, wow. And also, by the way, all of the files uh, fonts, images, everything that we'll be using is accessible in the description. I mean, I have a link for that. You can just go and download everything that you need. And uh, first we'll start by creating this beautiful shape here. And it's a little bit tricky, but let's go. And I will have to click right button here and choose rectangle tool. And uh, I want to change the color of the rectangle. So let's just go to fill, uh, click on the color. And uh, here I want to make it like dark blue and uh, by the way in case your feel is like this make sure it's like this so that you have some colors there okay so and uh, make sure in general when you whenever you follow my tutorials make sure everything exa is exactly like on my laptop like all the settings all the numbers and everything like that now let's create a rectangle and i want it to be cube and i want it to be square that's why i will hold shift when i create it so that it has equal uh, width and height and it's square boom so now it's square perfect and uh, let's just move it a little bit to the middle doesn't really matter that much let's go and create a new empty layer let's go here click, click right button and choose brush tool so now we'll have to draw the colors that we want on our shape so for example if you look here in the final artwork here we have some uh, purples greens yellows reds oranges and so much more we'll have to draw them actually and the way we will do it is very simple. Just uh, let's increase the brush size. Let's decrease hardness to 0%. Um, let's increase brush size even more. Yeah, this is fine. I also want to go to flow and uh, make this zero. And in case you don't know what is flow, let me just quickly show it to you. So for example, right now as you can see flow is 100 and opacity is 100 as well. If I draw, boom, just normal painting. Nothing usual, nothing unusual, right? So uh, let's go back and uh, but if I now go to flow and make this 1% and now if I draw what happened the color is not that strong but if I draw again over it the color is stronger and then again and it's stronger and it's stronger every time I draw over it it's getting stronger. So flow is basically like it's replicated in a real world scenario where let's say you're painting something and the more paint you put uh, the stronger the color is going to be. So it's like going to be layer over layer. So that's why we make it 1% so that when we draw, uh, we can actually create a more realistic painting effect and it's going to go from weak to strong color. So, and uh, let's actually go back. We don't need this. And uh, let's start by, let me just remember what colors did I have there. Okay, some violet, reddish and blah, blah, blah. Okay, let's start by doing some uh, red colors here. Like we can do like this, boom, boom, boom. Oh yes. Now let's go and uh, choose, let's say some violet colors purple and uh, let's just go and add some purple here oh yes look at this beautiful so uh, now let's go here and let's say we select some yellows add some yellows to the borders boom 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 and by the way um, I want to go here and uh, if we click right button here 
you will see here create clipping mask option let's just click on it boom and now what will happen is as you can see now we have here this arrow pointing down to the rectangle now that means that this layer is connected to this rectangle only and it will appear only on the rectangle that's why as you can see now we don't see the yellow beyond the rectangle it's only on the rectangle that's very cool uh, we can also add some yellow here a bit now let's go and add some green color and add it to the borders like this oh yes now let's go and maybe um, get some um, orange you know add it out with here out with here and uh, pink maybe pink light pink would be good i guess just a little bit of light pink dum 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 okay perfect so now when we did that we need to convert first of all this layer into a smart object so if you just click right button here and uh, i will click here convert to smart object boom so um now as you can see perfect it's a smart object and uh, the reason why i did that is because i want to apply some effects on it and if you go to filter all of the effects that you see here it's best to apply them on a smart object so we'll do that a little bit um later basically well, actually we can do it now so i'll just go to filter blur and gaussian blur and uh, so as you can see when it's zero it's like this i want to i wanted to make blurry you know and uh yes too much probably i want the colors to blend really well i think that's is fine let's click okay so now uh, let's create a group out of these two and i want to click on this and i hold ctrl or command and click on the other one as well and uh, right and when i when we have both of them selected let's go to group and click group boom now it's a group now i want to go here click right button and choose elliptical marquee tool now i want to put them in a circle mask so what i will do is very simple again i go here from the borders i click and drag and i hold shift now as well and when i do that as you can see i'm going to create a perfect circle which means width and height are the same and uh, boom and now when we have this let's go to the group and let's click here create mask so now as you can see it's inside the circle and now all we have to do is click right button and again convert this into a smart object so that when we do when we will do that the mask will be inside the smart object so right button convert to smart object perfect so let's actually go and get rid of this background it's it's useless and let's just click on it and drag it and put it into a trash bin now what i want to do is i want to click here and choose solid color and i will just choose black color for now let's click ok and let's put it below our layer so now what i want to do is um, i want to open this smart object so when you create smart objects you can actually open them in a separate window and edit them so for example if i double click on the thumbnail here so not here not here but exactly here uh, just look here we will have another window open if i just double click boom boom as you can see now we have here another window open and uh, now we also can see the group with all of its content the reason why i did that is because i want to crop this smart object and be it exactly the size of the circle so i will go and choose crop tool so right button here you have crop tool you can also just click c as a hotkey and uh, make sure you have here no nothing so just click clear if you have here some numbers in case just i want to make it smaller like this and like this boom perfect let's click ok now this is good and let's just go and uh, click file and uh, save so now when we do that and we go back to our original project now for example if i close this and now if i double click on this as you can see now we have it cropped and the reason why i did that is uh, i will explain you right now so for example if i uh, when i have this selected if i go to edit and free transform you can also use the hotkey which is ctrl or command plus t as you can see when i do that uh, i get these borders for um, this shape if i haven't cropped the circle before then the borders would would be here somewhere because we would have some empty space around the circle that's why the borders would be here but i want the borders to take only the circle that's why i cropped the circle so if you don't understand this then it's okay just move on just do all the steps that i did and you're going to be fine <laughs> so uh, now when we have this if i just click right button on my mouse and uh, i choose here warp what is warp warp basically helps us to warp the shape so uh, what does this mean for example i can take this and drag this as i want as you can see we can create some weird shapes with this so let's go back so it's back to normal i want to go to grid and select here three by three and when i do that as you can see now we have here three by three so perfect and now i can just click and drag to move uh, this object so i want to create our shape now the weirdo shape that we had in the previous uh, project 
Okay, now this is too much, like this. This can take some time. So once you're done, let's click OK. And you can create any shapes that you want to create. And in previous posts, I created the different types of shape. Uh, here I created a little bit of a different type of shape, more, I don't know, more chaotic. But actually, to be honest, I like this type of shape more. It's, it's like a couch, you know? So what I will do is, again, you can just uh, control or command plus T, uh, go to free transform, click right button and choose warp here again to continue editing this and do actually what you want. So I actually want uh, the couch type of shape. So I will have to distort this a bit more. So guys, in case you do this and you don't like how it looks, uh, like for example, I don't like how it looks. And uh, the thing with this one, it's experimental, which means you'll have to experiment every time. So you can just go here and uh, click on reset. And uh, once you click this, it's back to zero and we can start uh, editing it again. So just go again to, for example, I mean, don't do that if you like how it looks. If you like how it looks, just click OK. And if you don't, then you can again go to three by three and start editing it again. Okay, boom, I think it's fine. <laughs> so, um, it's, I just want to make it look very liquid. So when we have this, uh, now what I want you to do is, uh, first of all, I want to change the background back to white. So if I just double click here on the color, and I want to make it white actually. But you can change any color and choose any color that you want. Now when I have this selected, I want to go to filter, noise and add noise. And here I want to add a little bit of noise. So for example, if I zoom in, we can see that we have here these points, which looks really nice. You can also make it even more if you want to, but I would say probably five, six um, should be fine. Maybe seven. Okay, actually six should be fine, let's click okay. And now, for example, if I zoom in, I get here this beautiful noise with the colors. Next, what I want you to do is, I want you to import these patterns that you will also find in the link for the downloads. So here, boom, this very beautiful pattern. Let's just import it here. Click OK, make sure it's behind our shape. And uh, by the way, interesting thing about this pattern is that I created it on my own. You don't have to repeat this. I just want to show you something if I turn this off. And uh, if I go to pattern, and uh, here I have my pattern that I created. And I can, by the way, actually just reduce its size, you know, make it even bigger, small, and so on. Make it very small, tiny, and uh, just play with it, you know, change the colors and so on. So it's very cool. If you want to access this specific pattern as a pattern file, um, it's available for the members of learnfromfred.com website where you also get all of the other classes, just in case you want this pattern as well. I often share their different patterns, um, color profiles, add-ons, and many cool things. So and let me just click cancel. I don't want this pattern. So, so now when we have this, I want you to create a mask, uh, go to gradient, click right button, choose gradient tool. Make sure you have here, uh, if you go to basics, you have here black and white gradient and make sure it's set on the first one, linear gradient. And now make sure the mask is selected. And now, for example, if I click and drag to create a gradient from here, look what's going to happen. We're going to have a beautiful transition here from white color to the pattern. Actually, I want it the other way. So I will click and drag it from bottom to the top. And boom, very nice. Maybe even more. Yeah, this looks nice. Perfect. Uh, so now when we have this, I want to go and add some letters. So I will just go choose type tool. And um, the font that I'm going to use is called Felix. And it's a pretty cool, it's a glitchy font. Unfortunately, this is a paid font, but you can use a different font, which is very similar to what I'm using. This is the font that you can use, it's a free font. And I will place the link for this as well. And you can just download and use it. Um, uh, I'm, go I'm just gonna write, I don't know, Fred. For example, first F, oops, what happened to the font? Felix font, yep, let's click OK. Let's increase the size. So Control or Command plus T to increase the size, put it here. Let's click OK. And also, by the way, you can see that I have here this uh, pink color set for my font. You can change it to anything you want. I will place it here, just boom, below the shape. And uh, then I will just create a copy of it. 
and uh, to create a duplicate you can just hold alt or option you click on the object that you want to duplicate and when you hold alt or option you see these two arrows black and white you click and drag and then you release your mouse button and then the duplicate is created you can also just go here click right button and choose duplicate layer in the menu as well both of them work and uh, this one is going to be R perfect it's going to be on the shape boom and uh, then I will create a duplicate of this and this one is going to be E and it's going to be below the shape somewhere here and then the last one is going to be D and it's going to be here so what I want to do I want to select actually this and all of the letters so if I click on the first one then I hold shift and click on this layer we can select all of them and just drag them up boom now I want to reduce the opacity of this letters so if I just select all of them one by one by holding ctrl or command and uh, let's go with 20% opacity okay maybe 30 yep uh, now let's go and uh, create another text this one I want to make it black and I'm just gonna write something I don't know day 365 or something like that you know the stuff that they usually write on posters when they create everyday posters they write oh this is day number I don't know how much and boom we can place it here and the last step would be to uh, add a little bit of fine touch and uh, he often adds in his um, posters this type of drawings lines and I think it looks pretty cool and by the way this is not the last step we have actually something more to do but before I do that I want to select everything except the day and I want to click ctrl command plus t and actually make this bigger yep perfect before we add these lines I want to add here this nice shine effect as you can see um, a, like a sun so what I will do is I will create a new layer, uh, take a brush tool, make it um, yellow, for example, make it yellow, um, make sure hardness is zero. And if I just click, oops, sorry, make flow 100%. If I just click here, boom, now we have a nice um, sun. And again, just control command plus T, I can make it a little bit bigger. Okay, you know what? I don't like this one. Let's delete it. Try again. Brush tool makes it a little bit smaller. Boom. And now I want to make it bigger. Let's see. We can place it anywhere. Actually. We can place it here as well, just here. Yes. Perfect. Looks nice. Um, maybe I will just move uh, this a little bit to the left. Actually, yeah, this was good. So now the last touch are those lines. Again, create a new layer, take brush tool, and I'm gonna take like um, pink between pink and red color, so something like this. I want to make sure hardness is 100% and size is two, I guess. Let's try with two, Let's see. Yeah, two works. So now we can create here this random, you know, um, lines, boom, 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 something like this. And uh, yeah, I want to place it actually behind the sink. Boom, and here we go, our own a biogas imposter looks pretty cool guys i hope you enjoyed this and uh, the cool thing about this technique is that now you, you kind of have an idea how uh, some of these posters were created by mixing colors and so on of course there are many other techniques involved in this but this was just you know the most basic one love you guys i will continue drinking my whiskey hope to see you on learnfromfred.com bye bye